If you're, a, if you're a Baltimore Ravens fan, you felt good last night. If you're a Lamar Jackson fan, you felt that much better last night. If you're an OBJ fan, I know you feel great. OBJ is down with the Baltimore Ravens, as we talked about last night. Briefly, on a one-year deal, we're up to $18 million. $13 million of that is a signing bonus. The $1 million is base salary. The other $3 million is incentives. OBJ, Lamar has never had a, a receiver like this. Is this make it any closer for Lamar Jackson to come back to the Baltimore Ravens? I'm hoping so. He's never had a number one receiver before. Um, they now given him that. If he stays healthy, he, this is a great pickup, even though you may have given him a little bit more than probably most would have thought. But you give him a number one receiver now with a new offensive coordinator, we can finally see what Lamar Jackson can do. You got a, a number one receiver. You got a guy I think – could be a number one receiver in Rashad Bateman. You got a, a, a Pro Bowl tight end. You got an up-and-coming tight end in Isaiah Likely. You got two good running backs, J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards. The field of that play-action game with Todd Munkin. I don't, like, this is great. Of course, health matters, and that's in any team situation. Health matters. But if we're just talking about just the health of the roster of the names, you got a proven talent. You got a guy that with, mad, with mad potential in Bateman. You got another proven tight end. You got another guy that I think has potential in Isaiah Likely. You got J.K. Dobbins, who's proven. Gus Edwards is very consistent, you know what I'm saying, on the offensive side of the ball. You got Ronnie Stanley, Kevin Zeitler, Morgan Moses. If Ben Cleveland plays to his potential, Ben Cleveland. And, of course, you got the number one draft pick from last year, um, Tyler Linderbaum. I like what I'm seeing. Should they add another receiver? I think so. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't hurt because you got you got Nelson Aguilar that you picked up. You know what I'm saying? Now, does this help Lamar Jackson stay? I'm hoping so. He didn't have a, he didn't have a dynamic receiver in his career until now. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is the another question: Is does Lamar Jackson take less of a deal because he now has a number one receiver? Was he pushing to have all that money because you guys weren't giving me a number one receiver. Now is he is he possibly thinking, okay, I got y'all got me one now. Maybe I'll take a little bit less than the reported offers that you guys have out there. That's a great question. I don't know. Does he still want the fully the fully the fully guaranteed deal or somewhat fully guaranteed deal? Because I heard reports that he wants fully but not completely fully. If that makes sense. Um, so these are great questions that I'm that I'm that are just coming up in my head, like wondering, like. Does this entice Lamar Jackson to stay? Does it does it make Lamar Jackson take less money because you gave him a number one receiver? Um, we shall see. You know what I'm saying? The draft is coming up. There's still rumors that Lamar could be traded. This move to me kind of, you know, the, the Ravens get a number, get him a number one receiver a couple weeks after he asked for a trade request. You know what I'm saying? They've never they've never gotten him a number one receiver. He requests a trade. Now you get him a number one receiver. So we'll see. Hopefully this is a, a great attempt at the Baltimore Ravens to kind of lure Lamar in. We got you a guy. We may, we may potentially get you a guy in the draft, a, a number, number one receiver or a, a good receiver to compliment Bateman and Odell. Here, Lamar, here you go. He still could get traded. We don't know. So comment on what you think about uh, the move overall with Odell Beckham. Comment whether you think – this helps Lamar Jackson stay. Comment if you think Lamar Jackson will take less money because they got Odell. It's all great questions that I'm wondering in my head. Like, is this real? Does it help Lamar Jackson stay? We shall see. Once again, thank you guys for being here. Shout out to all the patrons, the Retro Game patrons. I'll leave your names in the comment section below. Go follow my socials. Uh, they'll be in the, the link will be in the description. And check me out. I do uh, live streams on Twitch. I'm going to do live streams on YouTube, and we're definitely going to hear more because we're going to talk about more sports-related shit in a more live stream environment. So definitely subscribe for that. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the content. If you like this particular video, don't forget to leave a like and a comment below. And if you want to see more of content like this, don't forget to subscribe. Once again, this is your boy Retro from the Retro Recap. I'm out. Peace.